Oh, it looks like the carts here have multiplied. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna poke through these. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, so today we are in Fogelsville, Pennsylvania, outside of Allentown. Uh, we were here about a week ago, but I decided to drive up again, visit some more places I haven't been before, um, and also the Goodwill. This Goodwill has been good to us. Um, so after that, I think we might go uh, hit up an antique mall, but first we're gonna head in here and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, here we go. Well, there are a lot of people here today, just like usual. Um, that looks interesting. It is marked on the back. Um, I think I've bought this before. $3.99. That has a really nice painted design to it. Kind of primitive looking. Uh, we will stick that in here. I'm liking the looks of this cat back here. <laughs> He's kind of different looking. I think it's a cat or maybe it's a chihuahua. It's marked um, FSA. And it's got jingle bells on the inside. It's not a bank though, so it doesn't have money in there. It's just jingly. I like that. There's a goose here with a bow on it. If he was in color, I bet he would be a blue bow goose. But I'm really not into the brass. I've tried it. It doesn't really work for me. I like that art pottery piece. Um, looks like we're gonna find some good stuff today. These cups are still here from the last week. I know a lot of people were trying to tell me, you should have got those, but since they're still here, um, I don't I don't think anyone else thought they were that great a deal. That is an interesting piece of corn right there. <laughs> it's a smiling piece of corn. Um, there's a pumpkin down there. Lots of Halloween and fall stuff still in the orange aisle. Money, money. <laughs> Actually, a pretty cute vintage bank. Uh, what is it marked on the bottom? From Alv, 2003, made in China. Little salt and pepper shakers there, $1.99. Kitchenware. They're sweet. I mean, there is a little bit of money there to be made, but um, I don't really need salt and pepper shakers right now. We've got enough of them. What are these? Match point. Ooh, those are tennis mugs. They are milk glass. Those are kind of cool and vintage, and they're only $1.99 a piece. I'll grab those. This looks like it goes with those salt and pepper shakers. What is this? Okay, it's Japan. I'm like, wait a second, is that Wedgwood? No, they are made in Japan. You can tell the, the quality just isn't there with the white figures. Sweet little frog. He's got a hole in his head. He's probably a shaker. This looks like sealed with a kiss. $1.99. There's a marking on the bottom, but it really reminds me of sealed with a kiss. Um, and if you remember, uh, we had that pink poodle the other week. That's that's what I'm talking about. It reminds me of that. It's $1.99. It's kind of a fun little bird piece. I think it's likely that a little red sticker is made in Japan or made in China, but we'll stick him in there. The last and final Dunby <laughs> guy is still here. That is a stone egg. Kind of an interesting colored stone. Um, not seeing much in the blue section today. This squirrel reminds me of Casey. They've actually got $4.99 on that. Um, I think it's a hobbyist piece. He doesn't have any of his little babies though. He's, he doesn't, he's all by his lonesome. So um, we've got this. That's a pot metal. You can see there it's pot metal, but it's a sundial. I thought that was pretty neat. Those are fun shoes, aren't they? Mud. I like those. I don't think they're my size though. I think these, I just like the vintage look to them. I don't believe they're vintage. I think they're just made to look vintage, but um, they are women's eight and a half. Those will not fit my massive feet. So I'm looking through the mugs here and uh, there are a few that were kind of catching my eye. This one uh, right here, I recognize this Otagiri and you can actually see there on the bottom, it does say Otagiri. 
$1.99. Unfortunately, he's got a lot of chippies on his face, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, these ones over here reminded me of Port Marion, but um, I think they're botanical gardens. I might peel, I might peel the sticker a little bit to get a better look, um, because all I'm seeing is gardens. I'm curious what brand these are. They are marked Kensington Gardens. So, I don't know anything about that brand. These are really colorful. But I don't see much from mugs. Oh, it looks like the carts here have multiplied. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to poke through these. Looks like we've got a whole bag of little kitschy uh, ornaments in there. This is kind of a fun Halloween piece. Probably like a big lots piece though. Uh, we've got a DVD, some other ornaments, odds and ends. I don't see much in there. I do see something in there, that wooden. Oh, it's just a primitive wooden looking piece. This cart is new and we've got some, um, some pumpkins in here. They are glass made in India. They're not one piece of blown glass though. They're multiple, they're two pieces and the stem is attached. It makes me a little nervous. It's a pretty painting. Let's see if they see this over here. Get a look in there. Lots of ornaments. And, uh, this is a kind of reminds me of Bob Ross Happy Trees. <laughs> So I'm going to check out the purses today. I've been like skipping the purses a lot recently and I really should be taking a closer look. Um, but I, I haven't really been finding a whole lot so it's discouraging to even look. But you guys, you never know. So it's worth looking. Maybe today is my lucky day. I'll get back to you if I find anything in the purses. I recognize this cat from a distance um, and it is Andrea West. We picked up one of her pieces, it was a pig, um, and that was prior to her working with um, Sigma, the, be the taste tester. Um, this is kind of just a kitty, but the one we had picked up had been some of her early work. Uh, I don't know what the kitty sells for, I might have, oh, $6.99. Um, <laughs> All right, well, well then. Um, I'll still look it up, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be worth it. Here I can see that one of the same sold for $10 recently. Um, that was at auction. The buy it now prices seem to be about $18 to $20. So um, for $6.99, it's probably not worth it for us. And I am looking at sold comps. You could see sold, these are all sold. Um, I prefer looking at solds than what people are asking because technically I could ask $100 for this cat little owl was creeping in the box. I just saw like, hey, that looks like a bird, and it turned out to be an owl, so I pulled him out. Um, this is just a box full of ornaments, but they all seem to be priced separately, so um, they might just be hanging out here. It's kind of a sweet little ornament. No, no see there, his ear is broken though, so I have to be careful digging through here. I don't want to cut myself. Um, I'm going to add him to our cart and hopefully they price him at the checkout and uh, we'll get back to you in the car. And there we go. Ashton's favorite ketchup chips. I haven't been able to find them at a lot of Goodwills recently. I don't know if they stopped making them or not, but um, I can't find them at any of the Goodwills. So this is, we're in luck. Well, our total spend here at the Goodwill was $19, um, and we even got some ketchup chips, so that was fantastic. Ashton is going to be thrilled. Uh, we got some good pieces for resale, too. I'm excited for that cat. Um, I don't know anything about that cat, but he just had a fun look to him. Um, the wooden bowl, they sell decent, so that's another good find. And the little owl is going to find his way onto my tree. So, um, we did all right today at Goodwill. I mean, it hasn't been as fantastic as other weeks here. Um, I did notice that they are pulling stuff off the shelves, so the cluttered, full, wonderful shelves won't be that way for much longer. Um, maybe we'll wait a few weeks before we come back to this Goodwill. Um, but you just never know what you're going to find. So now we're going to head on to an antique mall. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can find there. So here we go.
All right, well yesterday, I spent a little time across the street from this place and um, I noticed that, hey, there's another antique mall across the street. Um, so we're gonna go check this out today. Um, I think it is called Necessities New and Used Furniture and Antiques. So there's the antiques here too. And uh, they've got a really nice window display. So let's go check it out. Okay, well, let's see what we can find. These are actually really neat dreidels. I like those. Leaded, $10. I don't know what something like that would go for because I've never bought and sold them in the past, but um, that's really cool. I like this one more than this one, I think, just because uh, it's solid leaded panes. And that one looks to have some filler or something. I don't know what it would be called, the technical term, but I like this dreidel, so um, I'll take the dreidel for 10. It's a really neat ornament there. Hmm. Little Christmas houses and so many ornaments. Wow. Little owl vase is fantastic. Unfortunately, I just realized he's missing his beak because I would have been all over that for $15. My goodness, look at this tree skirt. It has little pixies on it. It's $25, Merry Christmas. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before with the little pixie faces on it. Um, I'm kind of at my cutoff for Christmas right now because with our uh, auctions running five days and then our shipping time being three at the most, it kind of makes me a little nervous to be listing Christmas stuff anymore because we're, we're really at our limit um, as far as Christmas stuff goes. Um, so I'm a little more hesitant grab a piece like this. He looks like he's missing an arm. I absolutely love it. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, so I'll remember this and on our way back through, if we haven't picked up too much stuff, we might, we might grab it. On the clearance room, everything in here is half off. And uh, wow, that looks like there's some nice stuff in here for being a clearance room. Usually you walk into the clearance room and it's like, oh, um, <laughs> we've got $25 on this piece. This looks like a um, stemless daisy. Yeah, that is a stemless daisy. The the um, shade here is kind of a puffy quilt uh, pattern. Um, it is half off though. And uh, that seems like a reasonable price for a piece like this, even if it is married um, with two different pieces that aren't necessarily meant to go together. It looks like it has a lava glaze. Got some redware in here, a little bit of carnival. Some more light fixtures. Those are neat light fixtures. And this, $25 on this guy. He's an interesting kitty. Is he a kitty? He looks like a cat. Um, how much is he? $25, half off. Yeah, everything is on clearance. So um, I like this guy. He's a very, very solid wood. Um, I think he's a nice decorative piece. We'll take him with us, and um, I'm just, I'm really back and forth about that stemless daisy. I think I'm going to pass on it today because we did just spend a thousand dollars across the street. <laughs> so I guess I got to be a little more selective. All right, well, we are going to head to the second floor here. Um, the owner was telling me that this used to be a moose lodge, um, and upstairs is where the ballroom was. So um, this is going to be... Pretty neat. This is an amazing building. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That this is like at a slope. Wow. All right, here we go. This is kind of a set up as a little boutique. And it looks like 50% off purses, handbags, and wallets. There's a nice shell here, and I've bought and sold those for $20 to $30 before. Um, I guess somebody's holding the door open because it just keeps going off. <laughs> oh gosh, alright, let's go back this way. Alright, I thought I was going to loop around, but it's a little maze-like. I've got some uh, autumn, I can't think of the name, jewel, jewel something. <laughs> 
one of those days, but there's a whole bunch of hull here. Um, this is a nice flow blue cup and saucer. Every time I find these, it's almost given that they'll be chipped or cracked, but this one's in decent condition. Jewel tea. That's what it's called. That's what I was looking for. There is so much vintage fashion that I really wish I knew more about clothing. But I'm kind of at a loss. There's some really neat pieces in here too, like this. Reminds me kind of of Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Polyester pieces, and this, I like the sleeve on that. What does that look like? My listeners have begged me to stop buying clothing because <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Clothing is hard. So this must have been the ballroom. And uh, it's very fancy. It's set up, I think, to sell furniture because um, they do have new and used furniture here in addition to antiques. I've got some nice pieces. I like this cabinet over here. Antique oak china cabinet with the beveled side. This bookcase is amazing. It's $495, but absolutely incredible. And I kind of wish I had the truck so I could be like, hey, Andrew, I'm bringing home a bookcase. Um, <laughs> I might take a picture and send it to him and see what he says because it would be worth coming back out here to pick this up. It feels a little weird walking up onto the stage, but I'm glad that I did because here on this coffee table uh, is a Sasha Brestoff. That's a beautiful Sasha Brestoff too. The gold, it's like matte, but then the gold is shiny. It's got Sasha B right there on it and on the back. That was a nice piece. I'll take that for 15. Looked up here to look in the case and see what they had up here. And um, as I was stepping back, I noticed there's another Sasha Brestoff here. Um, this one has a horse on it and it's more of a dish than an ashtray. Um, so that's, it's pretty nice. It only has a little bit of scuffing. Oh, never mind. That's a hair. Um, it only has a little bit of scuffing on it. Um, but that is, that is great. That's two Sasha Bastoffs. Well, that was a good trip. Um, we weren't there very long, but we did find a few goodies. Um, now this antique mall that we were at today is right across the street from the one that we were at yesterday. Uh, and our total spend there was $47. Uh, we got the, we got four pieces, two Sasha Brastoff ashtrays, the dreidel, and the wooden cat, um, all for $47. And I think we did pretty good. I was very excited about those Sasha Brastoff pieces. Um, I could not convince Andrew that we needed the bookcase, even though I tried, and she even threw in 20% off. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe we'll be back. Um, so I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.